Have you ever wondered where the fearsome Huns came from? Their origins are shrouded in mystery, as dense as the forests they traversed and as vast as the steppes they roamed. The fall of the Xiongnu Empire, located in the Altai Transbaikal area of Eastern Central Asia, was a catalyst for the migration of various tribes. Many of these tribes were Turkic, and they journeyed west, southwest, and even as far as the Indian subcontinent. They created new kingdoms from Uzbekistan to Afghanistan and from Kyrgyzstan to Kazakhstan. The Khitarites, the Alkhans, the Hephthalites or White Huns, these Hunnic states ruled over much of Central Asia during the migratory period from 200 to 560 CE. But there was another group, perhaps smaller, that chose a different path. They journeyed through the northern routes of the Eurasian steppe belt, eventually arriving in the Ponto-Caspian region a land bridge connecting Europe and Asia. By the middle of the 4th century, these wanderers had become known simply as the Huns. Their arrival in Europe wasn't marked by a swift conquest, but by a slow, steady infiltration. They attacked neighboring tribes like the Goths and the Alans, sparking further migrations across the continent. This period of upheaval and movement is now known as the Barbarian Invasions. The Huns would go on to establish a power center in a place we now know as Hungary. Their presence on the European landscape was not a fleeting one. Instead, it marked the beginning of a new era, an era where the Huns, once nomadic wanderers from the east, would come to dominate the political and cultural landscape of Central Europe. Their arrival marked the beginning of a new era, an era of Hunnic dominance. And as we delve deeper into the history of the Huns, will uncover the fascinating journey of these mysterious people, from their origins in the East to the establishment of their empire in the heart of Europe. An ambitious young Hun named Attila changed the course of history. With his ascension, a new era dawned for the Hunnic Empire. Rising to power in the mid-5th century, Attila was a figure of both fear and admiration. His determination and strategic prowess were unmatched, leading him to end the long-standing tradition of dual kingship within the empire. After eliminating his brother Bleda, Attila stood alone at the helm, his gaze fixed firmly on the horizon of conquest. His ambitions were grand, and his actions reflected this. He launched large-scale invasions of Western and Southern Europe, his armies thundering across the continent like a tempest. The Huns, under Attila's rule, were a force to be reckoned with, their power radiating out from their stronghold in modern-day Hungary. Yet the Huns were not simply conquerors, they were also partners. Long before Attila's reign, the Huns had formed a strategic alliance with the Roman Empire. Together, they stood against many Germanic tribes in Western and Central Europe, their combined forces a bulwark against the tide of the so-called barbarian invasions. But the relationship between the Huns and the Romans was not always one of camaraderie. As Attila's power grew, so too did his audacity. He invaded the Italian peninsula, a move that brought the Huns into direct military conflict with the Western Roman Empire. This was a bold action, one that challenged the long-standing partnership between the Huns and the Romans. Despite popular belief, however, the Huns were not interested in permanent conquest. They did not seek to occupy places like Gaul or Rome indefinitely. Even Attila, with all his ambition, did not aim for such domination. His invasion of Italy was a military maneuver, not a bid for territorial expansion. As Attila's reign progressed, so too did the reach and influence of the Hunnic Empire. From their power center in Hungary, they extended their sway across the European continent, their presence felt from the steppes of Asia to the heart of Italy. Attila's reign marked the peak of the Hunnic Empire's power. Under his leadership, the Huns were not merely a tribe, but an empire, their name echoing through the annals of history. What kind of lifestyle did the Huns lead? This question has puzzled many a historian and scholar. Were they nomads, living in yurts and shifting their homes with the changing seasons and grazing patterns of their livestock? Or did they settle down, building houses and creating larger settlements? The Huns, like many tribes from the Altai Transbaikal area in eastern Central Asia, carried with them a rich tapestry of cultural influences. Traces of Turkic, Mongol and even Germanic elements can be found in their way of life, but the Huns were unique in their own right. Their culture, customs, and lifestyle were shaped by the harsh realities of the Eurasian steppe belt, a vast expanse of land that stretches from the easternmost parts of Asia to the western fringes of Europe. Life on the steppe was not for the faint-hearted. 
the Huns had to contend with extreme temperatures, scarce resources, and a constant threat of conflict with neighboring tribes. They were skilled horsemen and hunters, adept at navigating the challenging terrain. Their nimble horse archers were a force to be reckoned with, and they used their mobility to their advantage in battle. But were they nomads or settlers? Some evidence suggests that the Huns may have lived in yurts, portable tents that could be easily assembled and disassembled. This would have allowed them to move swiftly across the steppe, following their herds, and adapting to the unpredictable climate. However, other sources paint a different picture. They speak of the Huns building houses and establishing larger settlements. This suggests that they may have gradually transitioned from a nomadic lifestyle to a more sedentary one, especially as they expanded their territory and came into contact with more settled societies. The truth is likely somewhere in between. The Huns were probably semi-nomadic, moving their homes and herds when necessary, but also establishing permanent settlements where they could. Their lifestyle would have been a blend of old and new, reflecting their rich cultural heritage and their adaptability to changing circumstances. The Huns' way of life remains a subject of much debate among historians. But one thing is clear, their ability to adapt and survive in a harsh and unforgiving environment was key to their success as a formidable force in history. How did the mighty Hunnic Empire come to an end? A question that takes us back to the mid-5th century, when the Hunnic Empire was at the height of its powers under the rule of the ambitious leader, Attila. After eliminating his brother Bleda and ending the Hunnic system of dual kingship, Attila became the sole leader of the Huns. His reign was marked by large-scale invasions of Western and Southern Europe, putting the Huns in direct conflict with the Western Roman Empire. Contrary to popular belief, the relationship between the Huns and the Romans hadn't always been hostile. In fact, they had been partners for quite a while, cooperating against many Germanic tribes in Western and Central Europe. The Huns, unlike what Western literature has suggested for centuries, weren't interested in conquering and permanently occupying places like Gaul or even Rome. Yet, Attila, in a surprising move, directly invaded the Italian peninsula. Attila's ambitions didn't stop there. He had grand plans to besiege Constantinople, the heart of the Eastern Roman Empire. But fate had other plans. Attila's sudden death in 453 CE, just as he was preparing for his grand siege, threw the Hunnic Empire into chaos. The empire, which had been held together by Attila's strong leadership and military prowess, began to crumble. His death sparked off a series of power struggles among his sons. The unity that had once made the Huns a formidable force was now a thing of the past. In the years that followed, the Hunnic Empire was torn apart by internal conflicts and external pressures. The Germanic tribes once subdued by the Huns began to rise in power. The Huns, weakened by incessant power struggles, could not withstand this newfound aggression from their former subjects. As the decades passed, the Hunnic Empire disintegrated into smaller factions. The once mighty empire that had struck fear into the hearts of the Romans was no more. The fall of the Huns marked the end of an era. An era of invasions, migrations, and conflicts that reshaped the landscape of Europe. What impact did the Huns have on the history of Europe? This question takes us into the heart of the Hunnic legacy which was, without a doubt, monumental. The Huns were instrumental in the reshaping of Europe's political landscape. Their arrival in Europe in the 4th century was a catalyst for the period known as the Barbarian Invasions. As the Huns pushed westward, they triggered migrations of various tribes, such as the Goths and the Alans. These tribes, seeking to escape the Huns, moved further into Roman territory, destabilizing the already fragile Western Roman Empire. The Huns' war tactics and horse-riding skills were adopted by many of the tribes they encountered. Their military prowess became legendary, influencing warfare strategies for centuries to come. They were not just destroyers but also creators, founding a power center in what is now Hungary, and even leaving their mark on the architectural landscape with the fortified settlements they built. Yet, the Huns' influence went beyond the battlefield. They played a significant role in the trade networks of the time, connecting East and West. They brought with them goods, ideas, and technologies from the East, contributing to the cultural exchange that was taking place across the continent. Moreover, their interactions with the Romans were not solely confrontational. There were periods of alliance and cooperation, where they served as mercenaries for the Romans against other Germanic tribes. This nuanced relationship between the Huns and the Romans challenges the stereotype of the Huns as solely destructive invaders. 
The Hun story is a testament to the complexity and interconnectedness of history. Their journey from the steppes of Central Asia to the heart of Europe reshaped the continent in ways that continue to echo through the centuries. They influenced politics, warfare, trade and culture, leaving an indelible mark on the history of Europe. The Huns' legacy continues to resonate throughout history. They serve as a reminder of the dynamic and transformative power of migration, the ripple effects of which can shape the course of history. Despite their eventual downfall, the legacy of the Huns is far from forgotten.